Hey friends, and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan inspiration. We are here at Aldi once again, and then I'm going to probably stop at either Wegmans or Tops, regional grocery chains, uh, just to get a couple of things that I know Aldi doesn't have, like the soy milk. So if you're ready, please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. And let's go shopping. Okay guys, we are back from Aldi and I also stopped at Tops in my town, which is just a regional grocery chain for just a couple of things that Aldi didn't have. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I have quite a bit here because uh, my pantry is still pretty low on stock of things. So let's start right over here. I have a bunch of bananas like I usually get. Uh, the bananas at Aldi this week were a little rough looking. Uh, so I grabbed some of the ones that look the best to me. And then we have some broccoli here. I like to use these in a lot of stir fries and things like that. I grabbed a cucumber. This is just one of the regular cucumbers. I actually had them this week. Uh, I didn't grab, I got, I've been getting the English cucumbers because they've been out of the regular ones. Uh, and then I grabbed some avocados. Uh, they're still a little bit small. They call them the large Haas avocados, but as you can see, <laughs> they're not that big. I also grabbed a mango. I really love mangoes. They're good. I wish I could find ones without the pits in them, but it is what it is. They're pretty cheap at Aldi right now too, so if you like mangoes, go ahead and grab those. Uh, blueberries, I grabbed some blueberries as well because I like to eat these. I might even puree them with some yogurt and try to feed my son them, see if he goes for that. And then I grabbed a head of cauliflower. I'm going to be making up some cauliflower rice this week for one of my dishes. And then I grabbed here some cilantro as well. I'm going to use that in a few dishes this week. I have some baby bella mushrooms. I like the flavor of these better than the white mushrooms. Uh, they just have an earthier flavor and they're very good when they're sauteed. I also have some green peppers and I grabbed a bag of the Roma tomatoes. Uh, when I get tomatoes, I usually go for the Roma tomatoes just because they're cheaper and I use them in things like tacos or salads, but they're really good and they're a little more flavorful than like the beefsteak tomatoes in my opinion. And then sliding over here, you can see that I bought a bag of limes. I need like two or three limes this week, so I just decided to go ahead and buy the whole bag and I'll figure out what else I'm going to do with the rest of them. There's like, oh I'm dropping stuff. How many are in here? There's like six, there's like seven lemons, or, I'm sorry, seven limes in there. And then next to the limes, you can see that I have uh, two pineapples. They had their pineapples on sale. They were like $1.60 or something like that. So I grabbed those because I absolutely love pineapple and I will cut it up and we will be eating that and I'll freeze it if I have to, but I couldn't resist so I had to grab two of those. Uh, that is it for the produce, I do believe. And right next to that, as you can see, I bought these, the restaurant style tortilla chips. I'm gonna be making like a tortilla soup this week, so I went ahead and grabbed those. And Aldi has like the scoop tortilla chips. And last year at my Aldi, they were roughly like 89 cents, 92 cents, something like that. And oh my gosh, today 
I almost lost my mind. The scoop style tortilla chips are now like $1.79. I couldn't believe it. They've gone up nearly 100%. That blows my mind. Anyway, moving on. A couple non-food items that I also grabbed from Aldi this week is I grabbed these magic erasers or like the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser knockoffs. Uh, I love using these. I have a white sink, so they're really good for cleaning that. And they're also really good for cleaning literally everything. <laughs> they're good for cleaning the walls. They're good for cleaning your bathroom. They're good for cleaning white shoes. They're awesome. And I also grabbed some sponges. These are like the non-scratch uh, Scotch-Brite type sponges. There's three in the pack. And then one thing that I grabbed that was on sale still in the Christmas aisle was this candle. It's called the most wonderful time of the year and it smells really yummy. Uh, the flavor profile is here on the bottom and it says that there's notes of red wine, blackberry, and apple. So that one is really good and they had a few other ones as well. So keep your eye out at your Aldi for their clearance Christmas stuff. They have some really good things there still. Sliding over, as you can see here, I have a canola oil. I needed that because I ran out. I also grabbed one of these sauces, the four cheese sauce. This is just really easy, so I can grab it for easy weeknight dinners on the nights that I do do my grocery shopping so I can feed my family. And then I grabbed one of these salsas, the black bean and corn salsa. I like all these salsa because they're actually really cheap and they're good they have different varieties they have mild medium and hot they have ones like this and then they also occasionally will do like specialty ones where they do like a salsa verde and um, as you can see this is the black bean and corn things like that those are really good i had to grab some more mayonnaise and uh this is the olive oil mayonnaise so of course i grabbed two of them because like I said, the last time I bought these mayonnaise, uh, this mayonnaise, if you saw that video, I can never find the olive oil mayonnaise at Aldi. So when I see it, I have to grab it. For meat this week, uh, I grabbed some chicken. I don't have literally any more meat in my house, in my fridge, it's upside down. So I went ahead and I grabbed this family pack of chicken. You can see it's four pounds, it's $8. They were $1.99 a pound. They also had chicken thighs this week for $1.99 a pound as well, if you would rather have the chicken thighs. I also grabbed some of the raw medium shrimp with the shells on, 12 ounces for a bag of that. And I have some black beans. I actually have dry black beans in my pantry and I'm gonna try to cook them up, but I just do not have good luck <laughs> with the dried beans or maybe I just don't like the texture of dried beans. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm gonna try it again. However, I bought two cans of the black beans from Aldi just in case I decide I don't like them still. And I also grabbed here two cans of tuna. I went for the chunk light and water this time. Normally I get the skipjack because I think it tastes a little bit better, uh, but I was just trying to cut back costs on a little this week because uh, they, as you can see, I have a lot of stuff here and these ones are like 65 cents, whereas the skipjack tuna is like 95 cents. So you're saving, you know, 60 cents. Chicken, uh, so the one I bought last week, I can't even remember what brand it was uh, at Aldi, but no one was really a fan of it in my house, so I reverted back to the Castlewood. This one is definitely my favorite of their deli meats there. It's a pound. The Castlewood, this is the chicken breast. They also have turkey, and I think they have a ham as well, but this one's really good. I grabbed some flour tortillas. These are the medium size. I have a couple things I'm going to do with that as well as I have a lot of bread and greens this week. Cause I'm telling you, my house is bare. So this I actually got from Tops. And when I go to Tops, I like to check out like their clearance section, the things that uh, they are getting rid of for that day. And as you can see, normally they charge $5.49 for it, but it's on clearance, so it was $3. I couldn't resist, I love croissants. They are so good, so I will be eating those probably with tuna or whatever, but I was really happy to see those on sale. And they're really big too. This is from Aldi's. I had to grab some rice. I went through all of my rice. This is a three pound bag uh, and it's just 
simple long grain rice. They also have like a five pound bag of the jasmine rice as well if you are particular. I have two loaves of the 100% whole wheat bread and this is for my husband and my son to eat for lunches and things like that. And then from Aldi, I got, as you can see, I have these two like baguettes here. Now this one I got from Aldi and uh, what I'm going to do this week is make banh mi's and I wanted a baguette for that. My first stop was Aldi, so I got this. But then when I went to Tops, I checked out their bakery and their baguettes just looked so much better to me. They do cost a little bit more, but you get what you pay for a lot of times, especially when it comes to baked goods. So uh, the French baguette was just under $2 right there up the top. And then the uh, other baguette, this one that I'm going to end up using for the banh mi's because it's a little heartier, it's much thicker, it's longer, it's just overall more appealing to me. So this one I probably will just use for other things. I'll probably throw it in my freezer for now. Maybe I'll do crostini with it or I will do like uh, croutons or something. But this one I will be the one will be the one that I am using for uh, my banh mi's that I'm making. And then, then this one up at the top uh, was like $3 or whatever. And then the last two things I got from Topps, um, I grabbed these soy milks. These are for my son. And Topps is like the only place that's been having the unsweetened silk soy milks lately. So I definitely grabbed two of those while I was there. And then my husband texted me and he requested that I grab some diet ginger ale. I don't know if he's not feeling good or whatever, but I grabbed that for him because he wanted it. Then at Aldi, I went ahead and they finally restocked their creamers for the most part. And I went ahead and grabbed the coconut cream coffee creamer this week. Speaking of coffee, I also grabbed these K-cups for my husband to take to work. Behind that, I have a few snacks. And these are for my son predominantly, but my husband enjoys them too. But I grabbed some animal crackers. I have two boxes of these club crackers. These are really good. Honestly, these are my favorite crackers anyway. And then we have these extra cheddar uh, baked turtles, which are just like goldfish. I grabbed a few cheeses. Uh, the Yellow American Aldi didn't, this is from Topps obviously. Aldi didn't have any of their Yellow American, their cheaper ones. Uh, so I went ahead and I just waited till I went to Topps and I grabbed that. And then the other cheeses I got, I got this mild cheddar, the brick, as well as the pepper jack. I prefer to buy the bricks like this instead of the slices or the shredded, just because it's only a little bit more effort and you usually get more bang for your buck when it comes to the cheese. Now up here, we have our usual squeezes for my son. I love these because they're organic and he can get all his fruits and veggies that he needs and refuses to eat on his own. As you can see right here, this was so cute, guys. They have a lot of their Valentine's Day stuff out. So if you need candy or, uh, you know, little Valentine's notes for the kids or your love, go ahead and check out Aldi because they have all this cute stuff right now. And this is up at, like, the cash registers. And they had uh, this one. This is a strawberry champagne dark chocolate with popping candy. So like pop rocks inside. So it should like fizz in your mouth when you eat it. So I thought that was really cute and really fun. Uh, they also had a raspberry jam filled chocolate, dark chocolate, and they had a, it was a, I think it was also dark chocolate and it had like almond pieces in it. Sliding over and this is actually one of the, okay, yeah, we only have two things left. Uh, I grabbed a box of the fish sticks for my son. I noticed that they had this week some uh, scallops as well. So if they still have scallops next week, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scallops because I love seafood. But I grabbed these fish sticks for my son as well as just to restock up on our waffles in our freezer because we eat waffles for breakfast just about every day here. But that is it for this week's haul. So if you guys need any meal plan inspiration, please stick around. I have that coming for you right now.
Okay, here we are with this week's weekly meal plan. And for breakfast, we have our pretty standard. I have waffles in the freezer. I also have a fruit and I have some vanilla yogurt in the fridge. I've been trying to work with my son on using utensils more, like spoons. So uh, we're going to be try eating more yogurt so he can learn how to do that better. For lunches, again, uh, pretty standard. I have a turkey and cheese that I can make sandwiches out of. I can also make tuna melts because my son seems to like tuna better when the bread is toasted. Uh, and then I can serve that to him with a squeeze. And I also have a couple different kinds of crackers as you saw just now. So then moving on to dinners for Monday. I'm gonna be making seitan steak burritos or fajitas. I have those peppers, onions, things like that. And uh, seitan, if you're not familiar, is a vegan meat substitute. It's made with vital wheat gluten or washed flour, it's also called. Uh, and it is simply the gluten from a flour, but it creates a very meaty-like texture and there's a lot of protein in it. Tuesday for dinner, I'm going to be making some chicken with cauliflower rice and beans. And then that's going to be served with an avocado lime sauce. On Wednesday, uh, that's my shopping day, so we're just going to do some spaghetti. I have that family pack of chicken, so I will grind some up. I have uh, for my kitchen aid the attachment that uh, is the meat grinder attachment for my kitchen aid. So I will be making some chicken meatballs and I'll serve that with that red sauce that I bought. Thursday I'll be making a tortilla soup. This is actually a vegetarian dish. Uh, it can be vegan. I serve it with Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, but if you mix that, this dish would be totally vegan. Uh, it's basically just like broth and it has black beans, it has corn, uh, it has lots of vegetables in it and tortilla chips. It's delicious. Then Friday, I'm going to be making up some shrimp banh mi. Banh mi uh, is basically like a Vietnamese dish. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Vietnamese. And uh, it's got some like pickled vegetables and things on it. That's what I bought the baguettes for, so we're going to do that. Sorry, I have somebody trying to steal my notebook. So Saturday then, uh, my husband doesn't know it yet, but we're going to be doing some takeout. Uh, I haven't decided what we want to do yet, but we'll think about it when the day comes. And then lastly, on Sunday, I'm going to be trying my hand for the first time at making chicken biryani. Uh, if you don't know what biryani is, it is originally originated in uh, Persia, so uh, the, you know, the Indian subcontinent area, West and Southeast Asia right over there by India and things like that and it is a chicken dish with rice and it has a lot of warm spices. Uh, you can do any meat but I'm going to do chicken. So we're going to see how that turns out and if I'm feeling feisty I might try to make some homemade naan because somebody told me that it's really easy to make homemade. So we will be giving that a try. But that is it for this week's weekly meal plan. Please make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will love you forever. Thanks again so much for watching. Okay, love you. Bye.